Even a warm West Texas night is a cold comfort for migrants like Wilson Romero. Mi hija es un poquito más clara que mí, chaparrita y bien simpática. Describing his five-year-old girl, the 26-year-old Honduran remains without her. We turned ourselves in to ask for asylum. We jumped in the river under the bridge and later turned ourselves into immigration. She was taken from him after the pair illegally crossed over the U.S. border from Mexico near El Paso, Texas, nearly a month ago. An official came and told us, you are going to jail and we're going to separate your kids. Believe me, it was a very difficult moment. All he has of her at the moment is her name tattooed on his arm. It was very difficult for me to leave her there. My daughter started crying. She grabbed onto my leg and said, Papi, don't leave me here. I don't want to be here alone. Take me with you. His story is similar to the more than 30 parents staying temporarily in the Casa Vide shelter in El Paso. They fled violence in their home countries for a safer and better life in the U.S. I didn't have time to talk with my son. I had just gotten there and they told me they were going to take him away. I didn't think that was possible. They took him away and he was gone and I didn't have time to tell him anything. The government released the group on June 24th and now the parents are frantically looking for their children. Immigration authorities separated the kids from them so that the parents could be charged with unlawful entry into the United States. Authorities placed their children into government-run youth detention sites. A federal judge has ordered the Trump administration to reunite more than 2,000 children with their parents in 30 days, sooner if the child is younger than five. I didn't know anything about him until yesterday. I talked to him, the social worker put him on with me. The truth is he wouldn't talk, he was mute. I was talking and he only started talking after an hour. I felt very sad. The families took a perilous journey just to get into the United States, only to be separated. Newly released from federal detention centers, the parents we spoke with could now face a complex legal journey here to reunify with their children even if they already know where they are. But to access them, to make actual contact, is a nightmare. You know, we've been experimenting with, with the numbers and nobody can get through. So several clients I've had that know where the kids are, they can't get through the, through the numbers. El Paso-based Border Network for Human Rights is coordinating legal aid for separated migrant families. The organization believes the federal government has the resources to find the children but not the political will. Some say that it's gonna take like a month or a month and a half. I think it's gonna take more time than that to reunify thousands of children and thousands of parents. All of the parents at the shelter don GPS ankle monitors, constant location surveillance uploaded to Immigration and Customs Enforcement, a condition of their release. It's on them to make phone calls to find their kids. The social worker told me they couldn't send my daughter here. I had to go to my final destination and there they were going to send me some paperwork for me to sign and have stamped and then it would be a week of processing before I could get my daughter back. On Wednesday, Wilson left the shelter and boarded a bus for his mother's house in California where he hopes the federal government will send his daughter. But that could take a week, a month, or longer. John Moan Associated Press, El Paso, Texas.